right, welcome to round two. These are 90 second pitches. We have four groups and we'll, we'll be going group two, group six, group 12, and group 13. All right, so group two, come on up. Um, as in previous rounds, I will be sitting over here uh, to your right and I will raise my hand when you are down to 30 seconds. My colleagues and I titled our presentation, Rebuilding Ripon, Jumpstarting Innovation Downtown. So when looking at the uh, crisis of rural property, especially in Fond du Lac County, we found that a main thing that influences this rural property is a lack of um, steady jobs for these people to have, um, especially in an area where seasonal jobs may be common. Um, since the Great Recession, uh, since about 2008, urban employment has actually grown, whereas rural employment has stagnated. So. We, we thought that by solving uh, the job crisis that exists in rural America, especially in Fond du Lac County, we can help these people get out of poverty and then address, and address it that way. So one way to do this is by getting the USDA um, developmental grants, which can range anywhere from $10,000 to $500,000. This is similar to what we use for um, the Wilmore Center, but we do not have to pay these back. Um, so these are designed basically to help businesses um, be created and help to um, give them upstart money for local businesses. So what we would do is create a committee um, of Ripon students, Ripon faculty, and Ripon administrators that would basically deliberate on whether or not certain businesses that are coming in um, deserve the money from this funding. Eventually these businesses would pay back this. After 24 months of being in business, they would pay back um, the loan that this, that this committee gave them in increments of 5% of their um, annual income. Um, so in, the, in that way, the committee will be sustainable, and this project, that this program that we developed would be sustainable and be able to sustain itself, as well as it could keep applying for these grants. Um, what this would do is provide Ripon students a foot in the door and a way for them to get internships, as well as pr um, create productive students, which is Ripon College's mission statement. All right. Thank you, group two. Uh, group six is up next. percent of senior citizens in Fond du Lac County live below the supplemental poverty line. 41% of students at Ripon College qualify for student support services, a program dedicated to students of low income, uh, diverse, and other kinds of backgrounds that aren't the status quo. Today, our group proposes cohabilitation between senior citizens and students at Ripon College for socially responsible citizenship through the reallocation of funds that we already have at Ripon College and cooperation with local nursing homes. There are a number of benefits that come to this program that's already been implemented in variations in the uh, United States, in Ohio and Iowa. There are many economic benefits to both students and residents of nursing homes um, and the elderly population as a whole. We can see that they won't have to spend as much on medication because as shown by a study done by Bryant, senior citizens who interact with younger people don't suffer from as many ailments that require medication. So they won't have to spend as much on medication. And students would benefit by not having to pay as much for housing here at Ripon College. We can also see the college as a whole would benefit because they wouldn't have to spend as much on housing or building new buildings. Thank you. Wait for the judges this time. Group 12 will be next, so feel free to come up and get yourself situated.
The plan we are proposing is a Ripon College community garden. We hope to place it on campus between Tri, the apartments and admissions building, and allow student workers from the science department and volunteers from Greek groups to work in it. We will also be testing the soil for pH levels to identify what specifically will work best in the area. We would team up with local 4-H groups to create educational programs and start a compost system for the commons. This is all with the hope of helping people below the poverty line by donating locally grown food, fulfilling the, poverty rules, the UN poverty rules 1.4 and 1.5. This is by donating food to pantries, allowing accessible fresh produce to lower income families throughout Fond du Lac County. This will be happening in two steps, a sustainability grant proposal and a formation of a club that can one fund to travel throughout the county. This has been done by many other colleges across North America, including Beloit and Oberlin College, and will inform students about sustainability, help them gain credit hours, and provide on-campus job opportunities. This will be Ripon College interacting conscientiously with the local community in accordance with their own mission statement, and make a change in accessible produce throughout Fond du Lac County. Thank you. Thank you, group 12. Uh, group 13 is next. Feel free to come up to the stage and get situated. Testing? Okay, let's get this. Fond du Lac County currently is faced with a poverty rate of 8.49% of their total population. For normal people, budgeting is a very important problem. You have health care, you have food, you have housing, you have any number of expenses. For people living under the poverty rate, that's like they have to cut where they have to. It's like their entire lives is just seemingly dedicated around you know, making ends meet. Our group proposes a multifaceted plan that sh uh, Ripon College um, as has mul uh, multiple programs that assists people where they can with these various aspects of their lives. Um, there are five main components of this plan where Ripon College would donate the leftover food from the commons and the spot to make an impromptu kind of a food pantry for people in Final Lake County who live under the unemployment rate. They would um, all allocate time in their um, the uh, nursing uh, faculties that we own. We would have the career center um, having people uh, helping people in the unemployment find and apply for jobs in the Fond du Lac County area. We would have volunteer programs offering transportation and help for these people, and we would um, help people have low-income housing and food. Thank you. Bye. Holy shit. <laughs> concludes our first two preliminary rounds of the hackathon. We're going to take a break until 3.30 as we use the power of mathematics to statistically validly compute your scores. Uh, so we'll see you back here at 3.30. The plan we are proposing is a Ripon College community garden. We hope to place it on campus between Tri, the apartments, and admissions building, and allow student workers from the science department and volunteers from Greek groups to work in it. We will also be testing the soil for pH levels to identify what specifically will work best in the area. 
We would team up with local 4-H groups to create educational programs and start a compost system for the commons. This is all with the hope of helping people below the poverty line by donating locally grown food, fulfilling the, poverty rules, the UN poverty rules 1.4 and 1.5. This is by donating food to pantries, allowing accessible fresh produce to lower income families throughout Fond du Lac County. This will be happening in two steps, a sustainability grant proposal and the formation of a club that can one fund to travel throughout the county. This has been done by many other colleges across North America, including Beloit and Oberlin College, and will inform students about sustainability, help them gain credit hours, and provide on-campus job opportunities. This will be Ripon College interacting conscientiously with the local community in accordance with their own mission statement, and make a change in accessible produce throughout Fond du Lac County. Thank you. Thank you, group 12. Uh, group 13 is next. Feel free to come up to the stage and get situated. Testing? OK, that's good business. Fond du Lac County currently is faced with a poverty rate of 8.49% of their total population. For normal people, budgeting is a very important problem. You have health care, you have food, you have housing, you have any number of expenses. For people living under the poverty rate, that's like they have to cut where they have to. It's like their entire lives just seemingly dedicated around you know, making ends meet. Our group proposes a multifaceted plan that sh uh, Ripon College um, as has mul uh, multiple programs that assists people where they can with these various as aspects of their lives. Um, there are five main components of this plan where Ripon College would donate the leftover food from the commons and the spot to make an impromptu kind of a food pantry for people in Final Lake County who live under the unemployment rate. They would um, all allocate time in their um, the uh, nursing uh, faculties that we own. We would have the career center um, having people uh, helping people in the unemployment find and apply for jobs in the Fond du Lac County area. We would have volunteer programs offering transportation and help for these people, and we would um, help people have low-income housing and food. Thank you. Bye. Holy shit.